When could acting normal be a problem? When it's a case of life and death. Okay, pop quiz. You're on a plane that's collided on the runway with another plane. After coming to a full stop, the plane begins to fill with smoke. Do you A, shriek at the approaching flames, B, stare at the approaching flames, or C, do you flee? According to Amanda Ripley writing for Time Magazine, people caught up in a disaster will fall into one of three categories. 10 to 15% will freak out, another 10 to 15% will act efficiently and calmly, and a whopping 70% of people will do nothing, acting as if everything is normal. This deer in the headlights behavior is called the normalcy bias, a kind of mental state of denial in which the brain would like to maintain the status quo of its usual existence. Thank you very much. There are countless disaster scenarios in which the normalcy bias has been a contributing factor to an otherwise uninjured person's demise. Floyd Heck, a survivor of a 1977 Pan Am plane in the Canary Islands, recalled her bewilderment and confusion immediately after the wreck and how it took her husband, Paul Heck, to drag her off of the plane. In a day, she past other seated passengers, including her friend who sat with her hands folded on her lap, staring straight ahead as though nothing were happening. The passengers had only 60 seconds to evacuate the plane before it was engulfed in flames, and of the 396 people on board, 326 people were killed. In Paul Heck's case, the fact that he had been in a theater fire as a small child, and since then always took care to check exits, helped immensely. In fact, he had noted the emergency exits before the flight took off, and in doing so, created a mental blueprint. So, when it was time to take action, he could quickly access that blueprint. And it turns out that the ability to access working memory, as well as sustained and selective attention, is key to survival. Something we take for granted since we're typically met with the same handful of scenarios day after day. But in a new environment with new stressors where the stakes are life and death, the cognitive load of the brain can be toppled and working memory can go on the fritz unless, like Paul Heck, you can fall back on an action plan that's already been preloaded. Survival psychologist John Leach says this kind of cognitive paralysis resulting in complete inaction is too common an occurrence to be ignored and the case has been presented for the classic fight or flight response to be renamed fight, flight, or freeze. All right, so now that you know what you know, are you a fighter, a fleer, or a freezer? And are you going to start paying more attention to those emergency exit signs and create a blueprint for yourself? Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.